and welcome to my show. Today we're going to be talking about fasting doesn't work. Fasting doesn't work. Welcome to my show. Uh, head on with Michael. I will be your host for the next few minutes. And I really want to talk about uh, the, the this article that came out from the American Heart Association. Okay. So um, it was kind of a smarty thing to say, but according to them, which we're going to go over here in just a minute, um, that fasting can actually cause cause heart disease. Okay. Um, so let me just say this. Uh, I, I lost 150 pounds through fasting and diet. And so this is my testimony on how I believe that fasting actually works. So over the last 18 years, I would estimate, this is a low estimate I'm going to say, is I fasted a year. So if you're talking about fasting between 30 and 45 days a year, that is probably on the low end for me. And uh, especially over the last couple years, um, when I, I had to, I gained back 70 pounds and I had to get rid of it. So now just remember this, that some people shouldn't fast. It, it's true. Some people who have autoimmune diseases, um, some people who may be diabetic, okay? Um, your body may be weak, all right? Uh, you may not have to fast. You may, you can have other ways uh, to do it. So just make sure that you consult your doctor, all right? Before you go on any kind of diet, okay? So some people shouldn't, but actually most people should. And you would, if you're going to do that, start off slow. Just, just all you gotta do is just uh, start off slow. So I'm gonna go through an article here um, that I found, and it is intermittent fasting probably won't harm your heart if you do it right. Let's read a little bit about it. Uh, intermittent fasting, has been under scrutiny since the American Heart Association released information earlier this week from a study linking this eating pattern to a higher risk of death from heart disease. The findings, which have not uh, been peer reviewed or published, are stirring controversy. Now, according to the uh, AHA, press release, the study collected data from over 20,000 adults based on two days of eating as part of a national survey conducted from 2003 to 2018. The researchers compared this information to data collected from people who died in the USA from 2003 through uh, 2019. Now, the uh, study the study also found that people who already had cardiovascular disease and ate over a period of fewer than 10 hours a day had a 66% higher risk of death from heart disease or stroke. Overall, following any form of time-restricted eating pattern did not lower the risk of dying from any cause. All right, so let's talk. We're going to go through here. Um, Dr. Uh, Joseph Davies, uh, an interventional uh, cardiologist with uh, Northwell Lenox Hill Hospital, urges people to look into the details of studies before drawing major concerns or conclusions. In his quote, I do not think the American Heart Association did any justice by putting out this abstract that was not fully complete and poorly designed knowing that it would create a stir. Davies told very well, I'm receiving phone calls asking if patients to, should stop their diet and change their lifestyle. There is no reason to do that based on these fly, uh, findings. The study, the study has not been published. The AHA simply shared a press release about it 
and it also hasn't been peer reviewed. Peer review is an important part of the medical publishing process to ensure accurate scientific inquiry and dissemination of research findings in a methodologically sound manner. Uh, Megan Comet, MD, a cardiologist at UCLA Health, told uh, very well. Um, so the data is also based on only two days of dietary intake. Two days of eating data is a limited amount of time when looking at the outcomes such as cardiovascular and all-cause mortality, Comet said. She also noted there, there is limited information about what people ate during their eating windows. That would be helpful in analyzing this type of study as would other uh, comorbidity, comorbidities I hope I got that right, that these patients have, she said. Um, so actually, the study lacks information about other lifestyle uh, risk factors for cardiovascular disease, like physical activity levels and uh, tobacco use. So just to, to move away from that, as you can see, when you put out any kind of a press release and you're someone like the American uh, Heart Association, who's highly respected. And so that is going to cause people to, to look at it. Now, again, let me just say, okay, I lost 150 pounds through fasting and diet. All right. So it actually works for me. I never had any problems. I even have a Fitbit here, which I always recommended for people to get a Fitbit, especially as you get older. And this way, you know how much sleep you got, also, uh, your, your, uh, your temperature, um, your heart rate, your blood pressure, and also your blood oxygen. My blood pressure is 118 over 74. My cholesterol is 166. Um, my pulse rate is uh, 72. And so I just want to say that it works for me. And also... If you look on any study, you study any of the ancient books, I mean, it said Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. People have used fasting. Even animals do it. Animals do it. When they have something inside them, they'll go hide and they won't eat because they're trying to get rid of what's ever inside of them. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say this, that you have to be their, your living temple. Because we are living temples. What you put in your body is important. And also what you don't put in is important. So you have to make your decision. I've helped a lot of people who to lose weight. I have a couple of people right now I'm working with. I have one of my friends here. He's lost, uh, what, 25 pounds. Um, had someone else lose, uh, they're in their 20s pounds also, and in a short amount of time. And if you do it right, you can lose it fasting and also keep it fast. Keep the weight so you don't gain back weight. So the most important thing is how you, how you start is by lowering your food intake, okay? Lowering your in food take as you begin to do your fast. If you eat on full meals, then you start fasting. It could take two or three days just to digest the food because you want to lay, you know, stop eating as much food as you go along before you do your fast. And then also when you come off that fast, it's very important that you eat something lean, like no heavy duty fat. Okay. Don't, especially don't start in uh, doing sugar. You know, anything sugary, okay? So you want you know, you want maybe vegetables, okay? Or or if you're a meat, you eat meat, then you want to have something very lean, lean meat without any uh, fat so that the body can digest it. So that's my take on it. And I want to encourage you to follow your mind and heart and do your own research. We'll see you next time.